फोर एटी टू फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन दिस इज अपील टू बी सेंट फॉर एलिसाइटिंग पब्लिक ओपिनियन ऑन अ मैटर विच कंसर्न्स नॉट ओनली द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज बट द पब्लिक लाइफ ऑफ द कंट्री एज अ होल माई अप्रोच इन दिस मैटर सब्जेक्ट टू पब्लिक डिस्कशन एंड कंक्लूजन्स अराइजिंग आउट ऑफ इट इज सम वर्ड डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वर्ड हैज बीन सेड बाय द टू प्रीवियस स्पीकर्स राइट एट द बिगिनिंग आई शुड लाइक टू मेक इट क्लियर दैट I am in favor of cheap elections. I want to rule out money as far as possible from the context of the processes of our parliamentary institutions and democracy because money has undoubtedly a corrupting influence. I wonder what will happen if these restraints were to be revoked would that lead to honesty and elimination of big money in election affairs i do not think it would be the contention of mr bhargava that by obliging these restraints we are going to have cheap elections or some kind of curbs on election expenditure i think what he wants is to make people look somewhat honest or rather he does not want dishonesty to be institutionalized in the shape of some kind of acceptance of it by the society his approach in this matter essentially is somewhat moral but it suffers from illusions now let me come to the other aspects of the matter but i should like to add here and if the object is one of promoting cheap elections eliminating the power of money in elections it is not achieved by removing the restraints here you may have the consolation that some people who are behaving dishonesty are asked not to behave dishonestly by making dishonesty in this case the law of the land and dishonesty therefore is naturally the use of money to influence the voters you are spending huge sums and are suppressing it this by itself is not the main crime it is not as if the crime takes place only when people submit returns to the election commission after the election is over the crime social and political takes place the moment you use the power of money to influence elections gary mandering or otherwise the indulge in all kinds of corrupt practices it is there you are committing a crime although mr bhargava wants that after having committed the crime there should not be any accountability about it in any way
now the main problem that we are facing in our democratic institutions or elections if you like is the influence and privilege of money i should like it to be curbed if not wholly eliminated i am realist in this matter as long as capitalist classes remain as long as the wealthy remain as long as the haves and the haves nots divide the society money will have its part to play it cannot be completely eliminated because the present society in which we are living is largely influenced and dominated not only in electoral matters but in various other matters also by the power of money therefore i have no illusion that by changing certain laws of this kind we will be getting out of the clutches of the big money in this matter now that power will remain all that we can do now by legislation and otherwise by practices conventions etc is to reduce that power of money that impact of money on our political life where it is election or something else this is the most we can achieve now i ask can we achieve this thing by accepting the suggestion that mr bhargava has made i do not think so when the election law was framed it was perhaps intended that some kind of a restraint would be put if the election expenses were to be submitted to the election commission after the elections that was the intention but this objective has not been fulfilled why it has not been fulfilled we must ask ourselves it would not do for us to say in a physical sense that some people are honest and some people are dishonest that would be an answer given by some people who are not conservant with the political affairs of the country the realities of our political life this objective has not been fulfilled because in the first place the ruling classes in our country who are in the control of our state of our economic life and so on want to get things done largely with the power of their funds and money that is why they bring in money into the elections and as long as they are there as long as they have the opportunity to do so it will continue whatever law you may have how is it that the congress leaders who used to get elected in the old days in the days of the british without spending anything now have to spend so much money i am talking about the congress because the congress has been in the field for a long time 